Okay, so let's get started with the radial array of our bar tables around this bar bench seating. So I'm going to open up the bench seating that we just created and go back to our reference floor plan view. And I'm going to select on this and I actually just want to rotate it about our insertion point. But now let's go ahead and insert the bar tables into this family. So we're still coming up to create down the component and we're going to browse out to wherever you have the bar table stored and I'm going to click and insert it and I'm just going to make sure it's centered on my insertion line for the first one then I'm going to hit just escape out all right now let's create the array around the bar bench seating so I'm just going to select on this bar table and I'm going to come up here to my modified panel and click on the array and you'll see if we look at the options bar there's two options we have both our linear array as well as the radial array you want to make sure this group and associate is checked what it's going to do is all the components that Revit puts in this array will actually be grouped together and we've explored groups in a past video but make sure that array is checked here we're gonna start with three we can come back and change that we want last to be checked for center of rotation I'm going to click on my place and I just want to come down here and select the center of our insertion point and I'm gonna drag in the direction of our first one and click and then we're just gonna give it an angle I'm going to come up here to angle and I'm going to type in 360. I want this array to completely enclose. And based on the number three that we have by default, you'll see those three are evenly spaced about that 360. And we can come back and continue to change that. So the next piece that I want us to do, let's just select out here in space. If I select this line where we're seeing the array, that actually is like a dimension string. So now up in our options bar, you see that it's labeled for none. I'm going to change this. Let's add a parameter. And I'm going to make the name number of bar tables. And you'll see the group parameter category it gives it is other. You can come down and change it to the graphics, or you can change it to some other categories here as well. Um, I'm going to leave it where it is for now and let's click OK now if I come up to our options bar or come back up here to family types and the number of tables will change this from the photo that I'm using for the construction of this family I see about seven tables and I'm just going to click apply and you'll see that that parameter drives the number of equally spaced bar tables that occur around this bench. And we can create family types once again. So this would be bar bench with seven bar tables. And I can create another one bar bench with five bar tables and click OK for that and for the five bar tables one we do want to make sure that we just come in here and change that parameter to five here and I'll click apply and you'll see my graphic behind us now represents the five table layout if I just change the type back to the seven bar table array I can click apply and we'll see that type as well and both of these types will be inserted back into the project now with this family so let's go ahead and click OK and I'm just going to take a look I'm going to quickly put a camera here in this editor just to kinda of see what we're graphically have at this point 
And you'll see as I select on any table, they're all grouped together and they're controlled by a parameter. And just that easily, we're able to see, we're able to change the number of tables that occur around this seating through family types and using that radial array parameter that we've assigned to the table groups that we now have inserted in this family. So the last step I would take is actually to save as this family. I would save this family. And then we're ready to load this into a project. You can take this back into your existing models and insert this family into the student commons area that you have. I hope this video has been helpful for you.